Good morning everyone and welcome to another update from Parkinson's Queensland. This morning, um, very exciting to introduce you to a very special guest. So Parkinson's Queensland recently awarded three $10,000 scholarships to Queensland PhD students who are undertaking important research into elements of Parkinson's disease. Over the coming weeks, we'll introduce you to um, all three of our grant recipients, but this morning, it's my great pleasure to introduce our first grant recipient, Shanshika. Good morning, Shanshika. Welcome to Parkinson's Queensland. Um, now, Shanshika is a physiotherapist uh, with a passion for research in the field of Parkinson's disease rehabilitation. Uh, Shanshika is completing a PhD within the Movement Neuroscience Group at the Q Queensland University of Technology, or QUT, uh, under the supervision of Professor Graham Kerr. In her, in her PhD, she investigates how smart shoes and haptic or tactile cues um, will impact gait and mobility of people with Parkinson's disease. Um, so Shanshika, we're really excited to have you here. Um, can you tell us and tell our, our audience a little bit about yourself yes. and also a little bit about your project? Yes, thanks Miga, thanks for the nice introduction and thanks for having me here today. Uh, speaking a bit of my background, I did my Bachelor of Science Honours in Physiotherapy uh, from University of Colombo, Sri Lanka. And then I worked in the academic and research field as well as in the clinical field as a physiotherapist. And currently I'm attached uh, to the Movement Neuroscience Group of the Queensland University of Technology to do my PhD uh, with the supervision of Professor Graham Kerr and Dr. Alex Len. And so tell us a little bit about this really exciting project. I, I have heard about the shoes, but uh, tell, tell our audience a little bit about the project. Well, yeah, so I got into Parkinson's research uh, because I have witnessed how people struggle with the disease, especially with their walking. Uh, so I wanted to try something new to ease their challenges and improve their lives. Uh, as you know that we live in an era where technology is so advanced, but we haven't used the full potential of that technology to Parkinson's rehabilitation. So in our research, we use smart shoes uh, for the gait rehabilitation of Parkinson's disease. So we do this uh, study in collaboration with our industry partner, Magnus AG, uh, which is a company in Switzerland, uh, which produces novel wearable technologies to analyze human movement. Uh, so the shoes that we use in our study provide us two main functions. Firstly, uh, it allows remote monitoring of the participants. So now we can assist their gait in the comfort of their homes when they go for grocery shopping or when they go for an evening walk. Also, healthcare providers can assist the gait without asking the participants to come to the clinic, creating a telehealth rehabilitation approach. Secondly, they provide haptic biofeedback to the participant to interact with the wearer. Uh, in simple words, it provides vibration or vibrotactile stimulation when the participant walks. And whenever they feel a gait difficulty, such as freezing of gait, these shoes vibrate and act as a cueing mechanism. So people find it easy to walk with these vibratory cues. So what we do in our research is, uh, we try to find the effectiveness or efficacy of these smart shoes in improving walking and overall mobility in Parkinson's disease. Fantastic. It, it sounds like a really exciting um, project and, and a project that could make a significant difference to people mm. uh, living with, with Parkinson's disease. So can people get involved in the project? Uh, exactly. So if there are potential participants out there who would like to try these smart shoes and join our research, uh, they can simply contact me. So when we come to the recruitment stage, we will be distributing flyers with more information of the research. So they can simply contact me or the research team. So we'll be assessing their eligibility and involve them in the research. So um, there will be some criteria that people will have to meet to be eligible yes. for the project. Yes. Great. Um, so um, if any of you would like to be part of this really exciting uh, project that um, Shashika is undertaking, um, you can contact uh, us here and we can then put you directly in contact with Shanshika who will then work through with you um, the, the criteria and the process um, that is required and, and what type of commitment and et cetera from, from all of you. But look, it's a, it's a really exciting project. One of the things at Parkinson's Queensland that we focus on is there's some fantastic research out there 
um, all over the world. And obviously the Holy Grail is a cure. But with a lot of pro research projects, they take a long time, particularly clinical projects uh, or projects around medication. Um, we see projects like these as an opportunity to make a, a massive difference in the medium term so that um, you know, by using technology, people can improve their walking. So once again, thank you for um, the work that you're doing. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, thank you very much for the great opportunity and thank you for having me. No problem. Yeah. And look, we'll get Shanshika back um, uh, later on this year um, to give us an update on the project. Um, you know, once um, she's got some participants uh, underway, we'll get her back. She can give us an update on the project and, and tell us a little bit about um, the, um, the, the work that she's been doing uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the year. So... Thank you for coming. We're really excited. You're now part of the Parkinson's Queensland family, so welcome. Um, thank you, everybody. We'll introduce you to uh, the second uh, of our three PhD grant recipients uh, very shortly. Thanks again, and we'll talk soon. Bye.